Hi, my name is Jeremy Chapman and I'm a product manager on the Windows client team looking at deployment and application compatibility tools. In this presentation we're going to show how a Windows XP PC can be migrated into Windows 7 into the RC build. You may have seen the earlier video that I did one on TechNet Edge uh, that showed how we migrated from an XP machine to Windows 7 beta. This is an update and as part of this I have a second video that I will be posting on how to create this environment using the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So here we have a Windows XP machine and I'm going to look at the computer and my user documents to make sure that I've got plenty of files and settings to be migrated on this machine as this starts to enumerate all the files you'll see that I've got several gigabytes of files uh, several thousand files in fact that I will be migrating from Windows XP into Windows 7 and that amounts to somewhere around 7 gigs of files and 4000 plus files that I'll be migrating. Now I also want to make sure that not only do my files get migrated but also things like my favorites inside of Internet Explorer get migrated so we'll have a look at the files here and let's close that down and have a look at what's in Internet Explorer right now in terms of the favorites and the settings in the browser that I want to migrate from Windows XP into Windows 7. So as I open Internet Explorer version 6 and look at the favorites tab you'll see that I have quite a few favorites stored on this machine that I'd like to preserve and maintain for my Windows 7 experience uh, when I install the RC. So on this build what I've done is I've pre-populated uh, the C drive uh, with local installation media. So this is something that you couldn't do in sector-based imaging, for example. I'm actually going to put an installation image there and I can run through the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit light touch process. I'm going to select Windows 7 Enterprise Operating System. I have a PC name that I'll retain. I'm going to automatically determine where user state is stored and that will go through hard link migration and I will determine the time zone, locale settings, and now I can select the applications that I want based on my user role. So in this case I'm going to select Office Enterprise 2007, uh, the Microsoft IT Connection Manager, which is a VPN app, Communicator, and Live Meeting. Then I hit Next and it will completely uh, migrate all of my files and settings into a protected store. Then it will run through an entire deployment task sequence that will install the operating system install the applications that I selected. Uh, it will hit Windows Update to look for drivers. It will also restore all of my user state all in a fully unattended way. So I can actually leave the machine now and while this builds out uh, everything will happen completely uh, in an automated fashion and it will give me a, an environment that I can then use at the end that has not only the operating system on it but also all of the uh, all of the applications that I need and the user state that was on the XP installation thing that constituted the personality of my old PC is now in the Windows 7 environment uh, with the applications that I selected at startup so with that light touch installation process I was able to spend a minute or two kicking off the deployment process then I could leave, um, let the computer build itself out, and you know, in, in around an hour or so, um, sometimes even less, as low as say 20 to 30 minutes, that PC will completely provision itself and migrate all my files and settings back to the right location. So now we're back in we're in, back in a full operating system in Windows 7. In this case, we've gone through all of the uh, unattended setup. Now it's installing the applications that I selected on the previous screens. It's just installed Office. It's installing Office Communicator 2007 right now. And once that's finished, it will install other things like Live Meeting. And as you saw earlier, it was installing uh, a firewall and an antivirus product. So all of these things were part of the standard desktop builds. Now Office Live Meeting is being installed. And once that's finished, then it, what it will do is um, restore all of my user state that was in the XP operating system out of my uh, stored folder and just like that I've now got a Windows 7 RC build. I've installed a top 
uh, Windows XP. All of my Internet Explorer settings have been retained and the migration is completed. Now the next video we'll show is how to actually build that environment out.